Hey everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I just wanted to pop on really quick and talk about a few mindset insights that may change the way you think about your nutrition, your health, and moving forward with something. So oftentimes women get really discouraged when they're starting a new program, starting a new nutrition plan, trying to make these healthy changes, and oftentimes at the beginning you may be really, really motivated and really, really excited, I'm gonna do this, I'm motivated, I've got these goals, I've got pictures up, I know what I want and I'm gonna go for it, great. But oftentimes at the very beginning, you know, that, that motivation part lasts a short period of time and then all of a sudden it just drops. And then you're like, oh, this doesn't, this doesn't feel good. This sucks. I don't feel good. This is a change, this is different, and how do I keep going with this? So to push past this point where it doesn't feel good for a little bit, because everybody goes through that, just understand that this is your body's way of adapting to a new way of being. Kitty goals, yes! I mean, so many times it's so easy to just say, oh my gosh, this isn't right for me, or oh, I'm doing it wrong, or oh, I can't keep up with it. And you can make changes and it can be the right thing for you, but it doesn't feel good every step of the way. When you're doing a detox, it doesn't feel good sometimes. I have done detoxes and cleanses and things and gotten headaches, felt physically ill, felt fatigued, and at that time, for a short period of time, it does not feel good. Overall, I know it's healthy for me. Overall, I know my body's getting stronger. Overall, I know I'm moving towards my goals. But in that short moment, you're feeling like junk, and that's where it gets tough to keep moving forward. So the biggest mindset piece that I wanna talk about is that the hard part about that where, you know, you're tight, like Katie, you're saying the self-sabotage and the resistance, the hardest thing about it that you need to realize and just think about at that time, in that moment where you're like, screw it, I'm going to give up and eat a pizza because I can eat a pizza by myself. I'm not, I mean, I'm not here to brag about it, but I can totally put one away. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> but at that moment, your brain and body is not working at your best self. That's not your best self, right? Your best self is the decision you made to get started. That's your best self. When you are struggling, when you are having a hard time, that's not your best self. So just realize that, that the, the thing that you need to keep going is the image and picture of still what you want to accomplish. But in that moment, when it's really tough, when your body's working through a lot of state, you know, a lot of junk and really trying to process things, that's not your clearest mind. And oftentimes if you try and make a decision off of that not clear mind, it's not going to be a decision where you want to go. So moving through re that resistance, moving through that self-sabotage, whatever, whatever you want to call it for you, you know when you're there because it doesn't feel great. And you're like, uh, no. And then of course, if you do sabotage it, the feeling you get afterwards, not great, right? You're like, ugh, dang it, I screwed it up. Ugh, I did it again. Ugh, here we go. Now I gotta start over. All these other things, right? So these are the things that are really easy um, to kind of pitfalls of the path. Pitfalls of the path on getting to where you wanna go in your life, in your health, and, and just especially with your nutrition and exercise. So, so easy to start over. I mean, women on average start four diets a year. Isn't that incredible? Um, failure rate for diets, and you can Google this. This is, the, this is information that's done out there, that's out there. 95% um, failure rate. Mm -hmm. Why? Because women are trying to do something that's way far outside the reach and then as soon as you start to make that change it doesn't feel good and it's really tough to stick with. So being a part of a group, being a part of a community, so so important to help keep you going because the same motivation that got you started is you really want to keep it the entire way through but it's really really tough. So that's where working with somebody, having somebody to count on, having people to message, all that stuff is so important. So I have 
Facebook groups with people who will help keep you accountable. I have a 12-week nutrition plan that I will be there to help you along the way. Make sure you're going to get to your goals and stick with it the entire time. Some of these changes, they take a while. Nothing happens overnight. But if you want these changes to happen in your life, it's important that you just keep going. You know, keep pushing through that murky place where you want to sabotage it. Because just know that it's not about that moment, right? It's not about what's going on in that moment. It is about the decision you made beforehand and what you want to have happen afterwards. Because, yeah, in that moment when you don't feel good and you're trying to make decisions off of that, it's not good, right? I always think about that too. Like if I'm out and about or you, everybody's had this happen where you're like at the grocery store or Target or something or you're driving and for some reason somebody doesn't like you or whatever it is about you and they're like honk honk or they flip you off or whatever and you're like Pfft. I always laugh at it because I'm just like oh you must not feel good. <laughs> That's what I think. They probably didn't eat. They probably didn't eat. They probably didn't have good nutrition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's really funny is that I notice this so much, especially with my kids. They eat really clean. Yes, they get treats and stuff like that, right? They're not, it's not like a perfect diet. I would, that's way too tough to maintain for them. But they get a ton of healthy fats, a ton of great protein all day long. And I know that if I am not fueling their bodies, whoo! Holy cow. Holy cow. I noticed it. Seriously. With their attitudes, their behaviors, how well they stick with things. It's amazing. So adults are no different. Adults are literally no different. Why would we be different than that? So keep moving forward. Whatever it is you need to push through, just push through it to get to the other side because it is going to be better. Once you, If you need to get a bunch of gunk cleared out of your body to have it be cleaner and healthier and stronger, let it have that time. If you need more rest, give your body the rest it needs so that you can be stronger on the other side. You know, everybody goes through different things in their life. If you're under stress, you may need extra rest right now in your life. And that would be the thing to focus on. And don't feel bad about taking a nap. Don't feel bad about going to bed early or sleeping in if you need it. Switch your schedule up if you can. Just give your body what it needs so it can get healthier and stronger. And it's giving yourself permission to do that. So, that is the information that I have for you guys tonight. But remember, always, you know, if you have a hard time kind of figuring this out for yourself, if you're like, oh, I'm struggling with this piece of it, don't hesitate. Comment below or message me. I'm more than happy to chat about these things. Um, there's this and there's so much more information in my book, which is the now on Amazon, The Female Fat Solution. And if you guys are all interested in you know, clicking on my website, which is www.drbethwesty.com, you can get so much more great info, meal plan, you know, there's high protein, carb cycling, intermittent fasting, oh, so much stuff is packed into that. I'm, I love it because it gives women such a great jump start. Um, and if you're ready to dive in, the 12 week program I have is there as well. So. That is what I have for you guys tonight. If you found this helpful, you can click that share button so that other women can get this information too. I'm so passionate about getting women the information they need to make the best decisions for their health overall. All right, I will see you guys later.